question three, um, we've got a uh, gas bill here. Ellen re received her gas bill for the period January to April. Okay, so we've got um, usually like a, a three month sort of billing period. The details of the bill are as follows. The number of gas units used is 9,745. The cost of one unit of gas is 2.12 pence. Okay, so that's what one unit cost. And the number of units there, 9,745. The number of days in this period is 90. Okay, so they tell us how many days the bill is accounting for. The standing charge then is 12.4 pence per day. Okay. And we've got VAT is charged at 5% of the total gas bill. It's important there that the VAT, you notice there, it tells us, doesn't it, that it's the total gas bill that the VAT is charged on. So, um, and that is usually what we get with gas and electricity bills. The VAT must be charged on everything. So we usually do that at the end. Fine tune all your calculations, the cost of Ellen's gas bill, including VAT. And what's important with this question, of course, it is one of those um, questions where your communication is going to be assessed. Okay? Um, so make sure you annotate every step that you do. And what I mean by that is, quite simply, we could start off by saying the cost of the units. Okay? So I'm actually saying say now what I'm working out. So the total cost of all the units, now we, we're using that amount of units, okay, quite a lot of units there, 9,745. Each of those units cost 2.12 pence. So each of them cost 2.12 pence. We need to multiply 9,745 by 2.12. So my calculator, we have this out. So press the SD button and you get something like this, we get um, 20,659.4. And don't forget, it's a big number, but don't forget this is in pence, okay? This is in pence. And what I'd advise you to do now is to change this into pounds, okay? I would advise you to do that as soon as you can, because that's what usually is expected, especially when they give you a question as well where it looks the same format as a bill and you have to fill in different parts. Change this straight away to pounds, of course. Um, we want to make this smaller, don't we? This is quite a big number, right? So, you know, it would be worrying if you had a bill like this, but this is quite a big number. So to make it smaller, of course, we're going to divide. And because there's 100 pence in a pound, we divide by 100. Okay, so on my calculator, divide by 100, and I get my answer then in pounds. Okay. Now you'll you notice maybe straight away here that this looks a bit strange. We, we two decimal places, isn't it, with uh, with money? So we we can chop off, right? Um, often they say in the question. I don't know if they say it here. No, often they say in the question to the nearest penny. Well, to to get that, we, we need to chop this off, right? It doesn't make sense to have three decimal places. And because that's a four, you know, we round this down. This stays as it is, so £206.59. Okay, so £206.59. Um, so we've done the cost of the units. The next thing then is to focus on the third bullet point and the fourth bullet point. We've got number of days is 90. And then we've got this standing charge. Usually gas and electricity companies will add an additional charge, like a standing charge or a service charge. And they tell us here how much it is. So it's 12.4 pence, and of course that's per day. There's 90 days. So what I would do next is a total standing charge. Okay, well there's 90 days. Each of them is 12.4 pence. So, do that my calculator. And I get 1116, 1, 1,116 pence. 
Now, again, with the same process, okay, same process, we're going to divide 1116 by 100. And, of course, you can do that on your calculator. Oh, each digit shifts to the left by 2, so the decimal point ends up here. £11.16. Okay. Notice that in my answer, I am putting pound signs in, or if it's pence, I'm writing that down. That will ensure that I get my QWC marks. Um, right, so I, I dealt with my first four bullet points. The fifth bullet point is to work out the VAT. Okay, but remember the VAT is on the total gas bill. So what I need to work out before the VAT is to work out the total gas bill before VAT is added. Quite simply, I now need to add the cost of units and I need to add on then the standing charge. Okay, so use my calculator and I get £217.75. Now we come to the VAT, so VAT at 5%. Okay, so I need to work out 5% of the total on my calculator. And of course, 5% as a decimal is 0 0.05 of is times. So I'm going to times that total there that I just had by 0 0.05. And I get out this amount here. And of course, this amount makes sense, doesn't it? It is, you know, in terms of it is in it is pounds. Okay, it's not pence. Before we've had our answers in pence. But now, of course, if you look back, we worked out five percent of two hundred and seventeen pounds. So the answer will come out in pounds. But to be careful here with the rounding. I mean I would write down all the figures on the calculator. But of course we want two decimal places, so I chop off the rest. But because that's a 7, I'm going to need to round this up. It comes, that becomes 89. Okay. So then, just to finish off, we've got the total gas bill. is £217.75. Plus then the VAT. And you get £228. 64 pence.